Hey y'all, Tom, ND3N here. This video is going to give you a list of HF radios that cost over $4,000. The same ground rules apply as with the previous three videos, and I'll let you review those for yourselves. This is the fourth and final video in the series. Uh, maybe not the final. There are new radios coming out all the time, and I will probably uh, do a one or two, you know, two different manufacturers release a new radio, release a new video covering that radio. Uh, and I would like also for you to answer, would you like me to do something like this for HTs or uh, some other uh, thing that's in a ham radio shack uh, beside the radios? Uh, HTs, mobile rigs, that sort of stuff. I, I can do it. It's a little bit of work, but <laughs> that's why I'm here, right? Okay, uh, the, remember that the first uh, list was for rigs under $1,000, the second uh, for rigs from $1,000 to $2,000, the third was for HF radios from two dollars to $4,000, and finally this one is for HF rigs over $4,000. Before we move on to the radios, uh, I'll let you know that I'm not endorsing any of these rigs. Uh, nor am I going to say anything negative about them. At this price point, they represent the best, most technologically advanced rigs out there. To get this information, I looked at the marketing description on uh, the ham radio re retailers and on the, the manufacturer's website. Then I would download the owner's manual and I would kind of review that. I didn't go in depth into the manual. I didn't try to memorize all the menu functions or anything like that. But I looked for features and uh, the uh, specifications and things like that. And uh, then just kind of scanned, scanned through the, the rest of the manual. I also read QST product reviews and lab tests and other online reviews. I will provide you with some information in the video and links in the video description for you to research and make your own decisions. All of these rigs are hybrid SDRs except for the flex radio which of course is a full SDR. They all have advanced digital signal processing, DSP. Uh, some of them don't ship with a microphone. I guess they figure at this point in your careers, if you're considering this radio, you already have a good idea of what type of microphone you're going to want. And they're not going to give you a cheapo handheld to, uh, <laughs> just to uh, get you on the air. Uh, <clears throat> so be aware of that so that you know that's going to be an extra cost right off, right off the bat. I've sorted these starting with the lowest to the highest MSRPs. Without further ado, let's get started on the list. The Kenwood TS-890 starts the list at $4,399.95. Now, full disclosure, I own this radio, and it is my primary station HF rig. It is a very complex radio, and I'm still learning a lot of the features, but I have a pretty good grasp on how it works overall. Uh, <laughs> This rig covers 160 through 10 meters plus the 6 meter band with an HF output of 100 watts on all modes except for the AM where uh, the output max is 25 watts. The maximum current draw at full transmit power is 22 and a half amps. So obviously you'll need a power supply sufficient for that need. Personally, I use a 50 amp power supply uh, I'd rather have a buffer than to be pretty close to the edge. The rig features a 7-inch TFT touchscreen display and an external display connector for putting it up on even a bigger screen. Uh, it has two SO239 antenna ports, uh, an internal uh, antenna tuner and keyer, and uh, remote operations by a direct LAN connection. Uh, additionally, the rig encodes and decodes CW, PSK, and RIDI and displays the decoded text on the display. Uh, 
CAT controls are via both USB and RS-232C uh, connections. Now one of the things I just found out about this rig is that FSK can be done using uh, a direct connect over the USB to your computer. Uh, it involves a, several mem uh, menu settings and I plan on playing with it uh, over the next week. Uh, and aside from the menu settings, uh, the settings in my software, uh, everything has to be coordinated. So once I get it all figured out, I will be putting out a how-to video. Uh, next up is the Yesu FTDX 101 MP, which has an MSRP of $5,199.95. Now this radio is nearly identical to the FTDX uh, 101D, which we covered in the previous video, except it has a 200 watt output and a few other features. Uh, this is a 160 through 6 meter radio that provides 200 watts out on all modes, except for AM where the max output is 50 watts. This rig draws 52 amps uh, with full transmit power. The rig features a 7 inch touchscreen with a 3D spectrum scope as well as the standard 2D waterfall. Uh, an internal keyer, internal antenna tuner, and three transceiver uh, SO239 antenna ports. The uh, third one can be configured as a receive antenna port. Uh, CAT controls via USB and an RS-232 serial connection. The Flex Radio, Flex 6700, has an MS MSRP of $6,999 and is a full software-defined radio, or SDR. Uh, like the other rigs on this list, it's HF plus six meters and uh, transmits 100 watts on all modes. This rig draws 25 amps with full transmit power. Uh, it includes a built-in antenna tuner and built-in keyer and has two transceiver uh, SO239 antenna ports. Uh, now, I thought it was kind of funny. It doesn't come with a owner's manual, kind of. Uh, it comes with a booklet and it's a quick start guide. The full operating instructions are included on a CD that comes with the radio. Uh, so, you know, it, you're not going to have a paper uh, book to go through. You're going to have to pop it up on your computer and uh, read it off the CD. Now, as I mentioned in my previous video, when I can when you consider any flex radio, do your research. They're different than any other radio and represent a paradigm shift in how radios are operated and you should be aware of the differences before you buy. Uh, for those people that I know uh, who have purchased them and used them, most of them absolutely love them, but a minority of owners hate them. It would be good for you to try to figure out which group you belong to before spending your hard-earned dollars. The pen ultimate radio on this list is the Kenwood TS990S, which has an MSRP of $7,929.95. It will give you 200 watts out on 160 through 10 meters plus the 6 meter band, and will draw 53 watts during transmit at full power. Uh, this rig has four transceiver SO239 ports, an internal antenna tuner, internal keyer, dual receivers, and dual scopes. The first is uh, a 7-inch scope, the second is a 3x5-inch scope. Uh, CAT controls are via RS-232 serial port and USB connections. It also has two optical ports for fiber optic audio input and output. And finally, we come to the highest MSRP on our list, anywhere on any of our list in any of the, these four videos, the ICOM IC7851. This rig can be yours for a mere $12,565.95. It's HF plus six meter uh, with a, tr a, trans uh, a transmit output power of 200 watts. 
current draw, the maximum transmit is 58 amps, which makes it the highest current draw of any of the radios on any of these lists. <laughs> this rig features dual receivers, uh, internal antenna tuner, internal keyer. Uh, additionally, it has a crystal local oscillator design and it uses direct digital synthesizing along with a phase locked oscillator for the local oscillator. Uh, it has an improved spectrum scope that can show you simultaneously an oscilloscope and FFT for receive and transmit audio. Uh, within the scope there's also a dual function which allows you to watch both of the dual receivers separately at the same time. <laughs> this rig has four SO239 antenna ports for transmit and two BNC connections for receiving antennas. It incorporates four first IF roofing filters and three separate digital signal processors. One of them dedicated to the scope, one to the receivers, and one to the transmit circuits. Uh, this rig has various computer interfaces giving you maximum connectivity between your computer and uh, radio. Uh, radio digital modes can be controlled using the USB port, uh, USB audio, and some of the CIV uh, ICOM stuff uh, commands include DTR and RTS and USB keying of CW and RIDI. Uh, all of those are selectable. The Ethernet jack allows you to connect this rig directly to your router and control your radio over your wireless internet or connect it to your radio any place in the world that has a high speed internet connection. That completes our look at rigs over 4000. But before you go, I'd like to ask you kind of an up, off topic favor. It concerns uh, production of these videos. Now, as you notice, I've been adding what I, I consider a very low volume music track to these videos. And I ask you to uh, comment on that. Is it distracting? Does it enhance or detract from the video? Is it something I should consider continuing uh, or something that I should just put down as a failed experiment? Thank you in advance for your comment and I will take all of them under serious consideration. Uh, don't forget, likes are free and only take a moment of your uh, time to click on that thumbs up button and uh, please, Share this content with others who may be looking for the more expensive new rigs. As always, at your service. I'm Tom, ND3N, and thanks for dropping by my little shack in the corner for a ham shack chat. 7-3 for now. I'm out.